So I'm just saying that t- times t- t- times are different. Yeah. No. Are they though? Yeah, uh, they are different. They're very, I don't know why I they? said that, but it's a it's a weird time. A lot of different people, different ages. I work at a school. <laughs> Hello. And welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am the new queen. <gasps> Gasp. And this here is Frank looking good with a hat and a little sash. A little sash? No, it's it's is how your you... your royal guard? No, it's how... It's the cool way to tie your sweatshirt. Is it? Yeah, people do it crossbody bag style now instead of the classic preppy around the, around the neck. Yeah. Okay. A little more... A little more tactical. I don't know. Just a little more swag. A little more tactical advantage in case you got to quick do something. You mm-hmm. don't have anything obstructing your shoulders. Yeah. Your right shoulder. Your killing blow hand. Yeah, maybe he does. Um... Oh, don't show his weak frail <laughs> arms. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Krav Maga? No. You're thinking of the little cat? At the uh... <laughs> No. <laughs> the good luck cat? He does. Um. Uh, arm wrestling yeah he does the queen's passed away let's say it like that i was gonna say the queen died and that seemed aggressive people are, people have different choices of how they say she died i do think the official announcement said she passed away queen elizabeth ii was on the throne um for all of our lifetimes and other people's lifetimes yeah because it was it was 70 my years. grandfather's lifetime yeah, it was 70 years. Yeah. Um, One of my grand. She was born before my grandfather. She was born before your grandfather, yeah. 30, 37, 32? Uh, she was born in no, 26. 26. He was 36. Yeah. She was born 10 years before him, yeah. Wow. Um, Such a long time ago. She was like, she was conscious as the, the queen of England, not the queen of England, as, you know, the royalty of England during World War II. Like... She was 20, or she was 19 when the war ended. Yeah. She was 25 when she became queen. Imagine that. Imagine growing up 10 years old in, in the heat of World War II in England. Well, you should have watched. Um, They, they had a show on, and you they reenacted it. Which... I only watch things post-mortem. Did I tell you I watched a new Elvis movie? Yeah, you did. So Her, I'll watch it now. He's the king of rock and roll? He's the king of rock and roll. Mm-hmm. Heavily debated. Queen Elizabeth, Um, I I, I very much enjoyed her. I am sad. People say, well, she was 96. And I say, so? She could have been 196. She could Just have look been, at the Bible. How old is Moses? <laughs> Older than that. And, um, and, 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 and why am I sad? Like, obviously, she had a full life and much fuller than other people. But, but uh, I feel she contributed to the world and, and I'm not going to have that contribution anymore. And so I'm sad because I won't get to um see her but i will see the influence that she made continue on and on yeah um but yeah so i um am american you are and i'm still sad even though america you know the people who were in america before i was in america were fleeing from england's royalty not her i know that was like her grandparents what that was like her grandparents her grandparents that they were fleeing from that is doesn't seem right really great grandparents i don't 1700s 1776 yeah i don't great great grandparents all right so americans do care and are sad some some don't care um you know i was brought up to hate the queen yeah good irish girl and the the dirty i wouldn't count. say good irish girl i would say that that was wow. very bad that's um naughty naughty that's nationalism i don't know what that is yeah um well uh, naysayers would call it terrorism terrorism for the actual for the actual events of the the troubles right so I, people don't know this um if you don't know <laughs> now you know if you don't know you because not you can't know everything about everything, you, you know? Can, you can. People don't know that the conflict, really, they don't know what the conflict is between Pakistan and India. They don't. Or, they don't. or, or, or uh, Israel and, um, Israel and Palestine. Palestine. Right. So, so I am. Ukraine and Russia? 
Ukraine and Russia has only been brought to our attention now. But but peripherally, you would be like, oh, like, what's the well, problem? People thought they were the same for a long time. Right. They thought they were friends. So I was brought up and I'm not saying I'm proud of it. And I'm not saying that they were right to do this. But in, in my uh, in my community. Yeah. Where I lived and um, my family. So England had control of Ireland. Um, it kept control of the north. So we felt, and when I say we collectively, like I said, I was taught it. Yeah. I was taught to hate. Taught to hate. <laughs> I was taught to hate. All hate is taught. Yeah. I was taught to hate and um, and and I didn't do anything actively about it, right? I was a child. You weren't a gun runner? I was a child, but you know, you grew up hearing it like, boo, they're bad. Yeah. Ugh. The crown. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was Irish and the royalty uh, represented English. Repression. Oppression. Yeah. Uh, genocide. Um, no, like they just were, they just took over territorialist or whatever. Yeah, but it was a lot more than that. Yeah. So I'm talking about like, not knowing both sides is, mm-hmm. is, I don't think, I think if you look into it, 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 you get into a little bit of a rabbit hole of who is right. Right. There was a, lo- a lot of bad things that were being done right. from the English to the Irish. There was a lot of retaliation that was like, mm. so, so you know what I just say to all? <laughs> zombie, zombie, zombie. Eh, eh, eh. So, 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 um, when I grew up, uh, it, 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 in my community, it was, um, my f- and my family and my people, genetic people, uh, was the English was bad and, um, and and like it was just like you would just make fun of them or just like oh the royalty or yeah. like oh there's you know this yeah. and that right and then Princess Diana came on the scene and you said well, hold up I didn't because once again I'm a child so I'm just hearing all of this Princess Diana came on the scene they're like okay well, we like her yeah we like her maybe maybe we could like her but they still didn't like Charles the Queen well, no and they liked her because she was. She represent, represented something different. Right. So much so that there's still controversy that it was the crown that put the hit that killed Well, I grew Princess up like Diana. that again. So so we like we liked Princess Diana. Like my mom woke me up for, uh, you know, in the early, early, early mornings to watch Princess Diana get married. Beautiful thing. And then so Princess Diana was the star, but we they still didn't like the royal family. When Princess Diana died, you're correct. They believed that the queen had killed her. Um Okay, but just because you're taught something, just because this is a, you think that you're affiliated in some way to a, um, a, a, a you know, an allegiance or, yeah. or a loyalty, uh, no, think for yourself because I, I grew up and I opened my mind. I questioned what I had been taught in lots of things. And one of them was I very much enjoy the queen and their philanthropy and their actions and their... Um, like you said, it could be a rabbit hole if if I had Irish nationalists here and they would tell me, did you know this? Did you know that? Did you know this? Yeah. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. I ended up really, really liking the queen and her children. And just and renouncing all that your forefathers fought for. And her grandchildren. My, okay. Let it also be said that my family is not from the north of Ireland. And um, we want no part of the fight. <laughs> yeah, they're very <laughs> passive artists yeah. and fishermen, and they weren't part of that. But I, so I made my own choice. So, as an American who fled England, as an Irish person who, who you know, didn't want to be controlled by England, I very much enjoy the royal family and England and the UK. And and I'm happy that you feel this is a safe space that you can say that. Thank you. Now, I, on the other matter, you. other hand, despise the crown. I'm just kidding. No, it's fine. It's just that you need to question what yeah, you're talking. Question. I think that's the that's the final. Uh, uh, the, and that's that's the thing. You know, time over time, we, we we can't just keep fighting our fathers' wars. That's right. Or mothers. That's right. You know, it, it's that is what you just call repeating history. Right. And uh, when are you going to break the cycle? When are you going right. to rise above it? Obviously, there. Like we're, we're talking about having ignorance to a lot of things. It is good to keep up to date for things that are you know happening in the world but you don't want to become too succumbed in it right to always who am i fighting next who am i fighting next there's no right. peace in that no um and that's what we that's what we want we want peace you know uh queen elizabeth ii 
She was alive in wartime and she was alive in peacetime. And I can guarantee, bet my bottom dollar, she enjoyed one more than the other. <laughs> um, so, so she was about your age when she when she um, became when she was placed on the throne. I'm ready. Now, if you think you're behind her because you don't have um, territories and castles and a crown and a scepter. I have all that. She also had, I'm pretty sure, at least two kids. She was married and had two kids. When they pulled her away? Yeah. And said, now get married to this German man. It doesn't really. No. What? Wait, what? She was married to Prince Philip. Oh. She she was already married to Prince Philip. And they already had children. I don't think she had all four yet. But um, she did. She she was already married because she was living her happily married life. And then her father died. And they put her. She was like, boom, they had to do it. So I'm just saying that t- times, t- t- times are different. Yeah. No. Are they, though? Yeah, um, they are different. They're very, I don't know why I said that, but it's a it's a weird time. A lot of different people, different ages. I work at a school. I work <laughs> so at back a, then, so back then, um, it was it was it was it was a different time, and and yeah, and and um, a little bit. We have more gender equality now. A lot more. Where where men don't feel as they need to prove something. I work at a school. Right. Okay. And there's house husbands and so forth. But so here they are. I have some add on that. Okay, so here they are. He he um he's an important like naval officer or something, and she's um she's a princess. She's the daughter of the king, and they get married. And um, but you know, still it's it's the nineteen whatevers, fifties or something, right? Fifties, yeah, probably. So he's above her a bit. But here she gets on the throne. Well, every English um citizen has to bow to the queen. Yeah, everyone. So when she was having her coronation. Um, he had to bow to her. And he was, you know, from a very traditional yes. German. Yes. Uh, w- what's the word? when like Patriarchal. Patriarchal. He said, I'm not bowing to you. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. And this is, the, this is even <clears throat> worse. Hers was the first televised coronation. Oh. Right? Guess what he did in the end? He, he, ba- ba- he, he bowed, bowed that knee. He didn't Thank want, you, he didn't want to end up in a tunnel. That's not why. It's because he loved her so very much. I think she died of a broken heart. He's been gone for a year and a half. That's true. That's true. They were together all that time. All the time. And you can imagine, it must be a pretty lonely life as a queen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you might think they, they're with people constantly. How could it be lonely? But you're the queen right. of England. Right. And or even more so, I mean, she did so much, but not even in a time of monarchies. Right. So it's not like, oh, I'm too busy to be lonely. Right. And so they're truly, her kids were all doing their own things. Right. There's literally only one person who understood her time period she was from, the life she lived, and where she is now. Prince Philip. I remember when um, when people started dying, like my aunts and uncles and uh, and then my parents. I remember thinking like, Wah, like they knew me. Wah. I cried like a baby because I thought they knew me when I was little. Yeah. And all the people I'm meeting now only know me as as me now, right? Oh yeah. And so I can with her. He knew her before she was queen. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Who, who else is around that knew her before she was queen? No one. And so yeah, that must have been really hard. Well, hey, they're reunited back yes. in, in English heaven. Yes. Um, which is a different heaven. But you were going to say something about house husbands. House husbandry. Okay. Um, so I have discovered that i didn't do it knowingly but as you know i uh plan on being a house husband yeah i think you said that i unknowingly probably subconsciously have become the avatar of house husbandry really think about it oh look at all the jobs i've had okay i've worked in kitchens i've learned how to cook okay this is sounding no it's fine yeah these are domestic duties that are needed for any spouse um no yeah so this isn't this isn't house this, spouse how this is okay i'm at work you're staying home what are you doing yeah i was starting to think you were saying this is for women but but you we're not saying that we're no. saying this is a house spouse this, this okay. is a house spouse my job is a full-time taking care of the family yeah okay follow me women and men and others no oh. well i mean you can still follow whoever me wants to do it i thought you were i thought you were teaching people how to be house spouse no i'm, I'm saying i'm the avatar uh, Master of all four elements. Okay. And so I'm saying, hey. Eliza- okay, gotcha. I think, but just. 
I, I've cooked in kitchens. I, yes. I've learned how to become a chef at a high level. Yes. I can I can cook cuisine. Mm-hmm. I've worked for cleaning companies. I've learned how to to clean houses. You have? Yeah. When I worked at the school, remember I was in CPO? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Mop. Vacuum. Yeah. Fold clothes. Yeah. Even. I worked at a bakery. Mm-hmm. I can bake. Mm-hmm. I got my business degree. I can handle finances. Oh, yes. The budget and the household expenses. And so I'm like carrying around. I'm like Thanos with the glove. Yeah. That has it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I need that last. What did I just do? I'm working with babies now. Yeah. You do. I'm sorry. Give me a resume for house husbandry. And I've ha- I have it unlocked. <laughs> who, who else can who else can can say that they professionally? Oh, and I I drove for a living. Oh, you're right. Soccer dad drove for a living. Cities, hospitals. Oh, you need the nearest hospital. And you played sports. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, obviously physically, I'm like a specimen. <laughs> no, I meant if they needed if they wanted to go into sports. Yeah, and yeah. I play sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drove for a living. Medically, hospital. Yeah. Oh, pff, easy. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll I'll get you the back way. Parallel oh, you park. mean if the kids got hurt? Uh huh. And you did um, oh, yeah. art, I meant like what? Arts and crafts. Yeah, and I'm also a little art major, so well rounded. If I made a resume for, you can read Dr. Seuss books. I can read Dr. Seuss. That's what like, I'm saying. Like nothing. So yeah, I, I care for <laughs> kids all day now. It's like I was thinking back on it. And I'm like, I have mastered every art of you have house house worker. Yeah. Um, without even knowing it. So you know what? And I was going to say. Um, the thing that you haven't mastered is cooperation. Uh, but then I caught myself because I have found that the primary um, caretaker of the house can't doesn't cooperate. You can't because I was the primary, and it's like it's my way. Yeah. Any suggestions? You're welcome to give suggestions, but it's going to be my way. So actually, you don't need cooperation. No, too, too many chefs to spoil the pot. You're right. You know, people think it's different when it's like you're right. You know, maintaining the house, but. Is it much different than backseat driving? It's like, listen, who got the hand on the wheels right, wheel right now? Yeah. Me and Jesus. All right. You ready? Yeah. It is walk through Thursday, you goons. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? It is walk through Thursday, WWT. Just ignore those letters. Oh, right. Um, it's WTT. Yeah. Well, it was confusing because we always have the Wednesday. I don't even remember how that started. I know. I think we should be that for Halloween. What? Dressed up like our characters. Oh. The same exact outfit. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Fun. Because <laughs> walk through. You know what's so Wednesday funny? Wednesday has just begun. I made that in 10 minutes as a placeholder yeah. for what I imagine to be a very high budget, you know. Uh, it can still happen. We're only... And no, also, I almost like. I would hate to see it go. It's been almost two years, and um, also a lot of people were um, <coughs> were were um, encouraging yesterday, uh, encouraging us to keep going and hang in there. So thank you. Uh, after what we said, we're sick, and we're not getting any prayers. Uh, yeah. Also, the the title of yesterday's might have said at one time, "This sucks. We just lost another subscriber." <laughs> <laughs> so people. Thank you for reading it and answering. And then clicking off the video. Um, yeah. It's walkthrough Thursday. What do we do? We open up the Bible, baby. Once the Bible's open, we pick a verse. We pick a verse out of this great book that we call the Bible, and we um, we walk through it. Everyone knows the stories of the Bible. Probably not everyone, but you know, we know the stories, but there's specific verses that are not paraphrased, but they're how, what they say in the Bible, and they have meaning too. Yeah. Sometimes you get a lot of meaning. That's why pe- people put little signs up on their walls for a reason. Right. Or because... tattoos. No. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> and it's because that little verse can carry you a long way. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get into it. Um, today we're reading out of the book of Ruth. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Ruth. Ruthless. Ruthful. Ruthful. Is that a word? Truthful. <laughs> Well, ruthless. I don't what know. is Ruth? I don't know. To have Ruth. I guess it's a positive thing. She's a biblical, important biblical woman. She's an important Burton biblical, biblical woman. Figure. And she's a good reader. Um, we're reading the New International Version, Avi. So we're reading Ruth 116. So uh, Ruth, as we all know, was a woman, a mom even. 
Ruth. Yeah. Of course she was a mom. Um, she is the gr- a great grandmother of David. A great, great. Who's her kids? Tamar? I don't know. But I know that <clears throat> she will lead, whoever she had, will lead down to eventually be in David's father. Which will eventually be? Jesus's. Jesus's father. Joseph. No. It would not come through Joseph, right? Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. I'm confused. Right. right. The family of. Yeah. Yeah. J- J- David goes to Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. So we're reading Ruth 1, 6, 1, 16. Um, Yeah. Let's get into it. Sure. But Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. My God. Did you pick that? Here, give me. Did you pick that for the um, for the? No. It sounds like I thought you did. I maybe guess I not. Did. Maybe maybe you didn't, or maybe I did. But on the Instagram, this was this was featured at one point. I, a lot of people will know this verse, and it'll sound familiar, um, because people use it for weddings. Okay. Right. You're saying um, where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. But it's not between a couple. It's not between Ruth and Boaz. Um, and so I'll give you backstory oh, and then you can, sorry, I took that. I'll give you backstory. And um, so this is the backstory quickly because we talked about Queen Elizabeth so long. Uh, Naomi. Naomi had a husband and two sons. Okay. And um, they died. Oh. They, they uh, you know, and they're always traveling in the Bible. Yeah. So they're away from their town, living somewhere else, I guess. The husband dies. The sons die. Okay. Um, so Naomi is like, I'm going back to from whence I came, okay? So she says to the two daughters-in-law, because the two sons were married. Yeah. And one is Orpah and one is um, Ruth. Okay. And she says, I'm leaving and I, I, look at me. I got nothing to offer. Go back to your both, go back to your moms. Yeah. And start again. Start over because... Yeah. No, we're a mess over here. We're a mess over here, okay? <laughs> Just, John, yeah, it's a singing ship and get off of it. Get off of it. Okay. Orpah, at funny little side note, Oprah, you know, Oprah Winfrey, yeah. her name was supposed to be Orpah from oh. the Bible and they misspelled it. That's different. Orpah was like, okay, bye. And she left. Ruth, Ruth. Ruth. Ruth was, she had a lot of Ruth. <laughs> she was not ruthless. Maybe, maybe the word actually comes from the Bible. Oh. So maybe never even, Ruth never meant anything, but to be ruthless is to be not like Ruth. Oh, to be ruthless is, maybe Orpah was ruthless. Oh. She left. I don't know. We made that up. So Did so we? so anyway, Ruth would not leave Naomi um, or Naomi's God, you know, f- from what she's saying there. So the the, 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 the the verse is used for couples. It could be used for anybody. But yeah. just that was the backstory um, that it actually was her talking to the mother-in-law and saying, no, you know what? I don't care that you had misfortune and I had she lost her husband. I'm going to stay with you and I'm going to um, go back with you. I like that. And you know why? It, it ties right into what we were talking about yesterday about being a witness. Yes. We were talking about witness to mental health. And I even brought up the story of my professor who had a two sons tragically die, just like the story. Right. And everyone was saying condolences and yada, yada. Okay. Here's a, a flower basket. And he's like, everyone get out. Yeah. One person just sat there and said, I'm not leaving. I'm right. not talking to you. I'm not leaving. Is that not what they say? It's, it's, Sometimes we in this time of despair, it's like I am. Lo- I, I I am. I can't help you guys. I can't even offer you a smile when you're trying to give me sympathy. I don't want it. Just right. go start your lives. Right. Forget about me. Right. It'll make my life easier. Right. But as we talked about yesterday, there is such a human thing about wanting to the desire to be witnessed, even even you don't say it or truly you will say get away from me. Right. But. And then it, it's the steadfastness of Ruth to say, do not urge me to leave you or take back from you. Where you go, I'll go. You stay, I stay. Your people will be my people and my God and your God, my God. Yeah. What a powerful message to a grieving mother, right? Yeah? Right. A grieving mother who you can imagine just once. I, I obviously have a rain cloud on my head. Everything I touch, I destroy. I'm being very overdramatic. But right. Just this kind of mindset of, you go. You have, yeah. You're young. You have lives. My right. life is over. Right. And to have someone who you're not even blood related to. Right. right. I think that's another powerful thing about this right. is you're not blood related to this person where it's like, ah, we're siblings. Like, yeah. Or, or you're, you're my mom. Right. This is, no, 
I'm, I'm not leaving you. Your God's my God. It's, it, it does. It shows her love um, and faith and to her husband even. Yeah. You know, it, the, you're dead, but I'm going to stay with your mom. And also when she says wherever you go, because it's not just like, wait, you're going to Las Vegas. I'll stay. It says where at where you go. I will go. She's not saying I'll only go one place with you. And you're saying that. I like the next line even more. So where you go, I go. It's like sort of we'll try to get away from this, right? Like, right. Well, like, it can mean go physically. Yeah. Or it can mean go like, what? All right, what are we gonna do next? Mm-hmm. And that goes to the earlier thing of like someone saying like, hey, like we can get past this, and it's like I don't want to get past this. If, right. Where you stay, I'll stay. You it's, lead me, and, and yeah. No, I'll lead, accompany you. Lead me is once again going. No, I like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> But what I'm saying, what I think is more powerful than leading me is where you stay, I'll stay. Oh, yes. It's, I got it now. Yeah. It, it's like moving's easy. It's like, we could on, also be still. Ruth, we're, we're together. Let's go. We can get past this. We can find, you know, a You're new right. life. And, and a lot of like, people do say that to grieving people. They, they say, do. if you don't get up and go, or if you like, I will do something with you. Yeah. But if you're just going to sit here and feel sorry for yourself, I'm not going to sit yeah. here with you. And this is saying, she, she's say, saying you say, I, I say, if you don't want to do anything else in life and you just want to sit here and wallow, then you, you are not going to be doing it alone because I'll be right next to you. It's interesting that you said that the, 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 the witness thing, because you're absolutely right. She was witnessing. But also, so when they go back to the town, this is, I said, I said a, a before story. This is an after story. When they go to the town, um, they, they run into Boaz Boaz. Boaz. Uh, you can read the 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 um read Ruth. It's a small book. Um, it's, it's the smallest book in the Bible, I think. Is it? It's only four chapters. So, Boaz. He goes to you know in um in that time you would always bring everything to like the other elders and stuff like this. Yeah. He goes to them um in Ruth four and he he says he wants to marry um Ruth. Okay. And he he tells them like Wait, you, who's Boaz again? Boaz is a man in the town. Oh, just a man in the town. Yeah. And he says, I, I want, I, I'm going to marry Ruth. Um, and he compliments Ruth and says, I've seen what you did for your mother-in-law. And I'm oh, very impressed. Yeah. And then when he talks to the, to the men of the town, he says, I want you to be my witnesses. Because he want, you know, I'm above board. I'm not snatching widows. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I, and so he, he literally says it in the Bible. And then they say to him, we will be your witnesses. They get married. She has Jesse, I think. And then Jesse eventually... You're going to lead down to David. Yeah. And I think that's another thing about this sense of, of, of this. I think a lot of people, in a way, you know, uh, try to jump ship. You know, they, they will take the chance of like, if, you, if you're trying to succeed and stuff and, and say, okay, like, especially when you're sent away, it's easy to not feel guilty. Of course. If it's like, oh, just go without me. And it's like, when, when you do live this life of honor and stuff, it is seen. Well, we, when we talked about it, Esther and we said, yeah, it's easy to be told what to do, but when you have to make your own decision, yeah. 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 And then you see two people, two decisions made, and then the outcome, it, it's whether or not the other uh, girl, Ophelia, um, <laughs> or, Orpa, Orpa, you know, how her life lived, it, it's, it's that energy is returned and not even that you want it. it, it it's just, that's, it shows character, it shows who you are and you are happier for it. Yeah. Both people are. Yeah. You, like everyone in that story on that side, I'm sure the mother-in-law, how much that meant. I'm sure, you know, Ruth, it, it strengthened her own sense. And then Boaz came along. And then, you know who's a great um, daughter-in-law? Who? Princess Catherine. William's wife. I don't think she's a princess, but Duchess Catherine. And okay. saying that, I feel like you're throwing a little shade to someone else. Of course. <laughs> Which I'm so for. <laughs> I'm for I'm for all the shape. You guys can say that's it, right? That's an Orpa. Oh my gosh, guys! Ah, that's an Orpa, guys. That's an Am Orpa. Am I saying then? Yeah, Orpa. She's ruthless. Cur- current day. Yeah. Orpa is a certain Meghan Markle. Can I say that? You can. We might get a lot of flack because we we didn't go into the long term. Like, cause talk all right, about so just bigly it. No, what? Like brr, when I'm, when I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna say because we're gonna talk about it in the future. We can we can talk about Meghan Markle, but I you get attacked by things. That are propaganda for Team Meghan Markle. Mm. Meghan Markle to me is even the garden. Oh. She was so wealthy. So people, she likes to paint herself as poor old me. Oh, she's conniving. Starting out. She went. She she was interviewed saying, "Who is the when she was in England? Who is the highest caliber person I can get?" And do I think? That uh, Queen Elizabeth did not like her. 
I don't think she did. I think she liked her. No, I think she liked her, but I, I'm saying like her, try not, trust her. Oh well, I mean, how can you be 99 and not have pick, 96 and not have picked up some intuition about people? Well, that's what, and people will paint all the reasons why she didn't yeah. like her. I think she's lived through World War Two. She's lived through the, the Irish troubles mm-hmm. and all of the the wars and the good and the bad and the liars and the ruthful and the ruthless. This and I is think, I think she could. She, Queen Elizabeth, when she lost her Boaz, she yeah. lost Prince Philip a year and a half ago, and she had two daughters in law, and one abandoned her. That's Orpa, and one stayed with her. That's Ruth, aka Catherine. Shout out Katie Merck. Wait, no, Katie Mid. What was her name? Middleton. You're right. Katie Mid. Shout out. It's been real. Um, don't get mad at us for what we just said because I can explain in full detail. And um, Chade Mefalche to Queen Elizabeth in heaven. Oh, you're crossing you're crossing lines there. I don't care. There are some there are some Irish people who fully like the the in Northern Ireland, the Irish Protestants are very very fond of her. So, I'm sure they speak Gaelic too. Well, are they really Irish if they're Protestant? I Ask know yourself that. Happening. Peace. I'm a, I'm a little sick still. You are. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Goodbye, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, oh, oh.